Experience. Global Health Interview, take one. So we went to Guyana, Georgetown, Guyana. Um, it was the Center for Global Health and approximately six departments and service lines represented by 16 health professionals to meet with Georgetown Public Hospital Corporation and the Ministry of Health and the University of Guyana to set up a five-year agreement based on their need and our ability. You know, global is local and local is global. And if anything, the last year and a half has taught us is that we're all connected. And so what happens in Guyana uh, doesn't actually stay in Guyana. There's actually a, a connection. We have the largest diaspora of, of Guyanese Americans in, in the United States, right here in Queens. We take care of an enormous number of those people in, as patients in our health system. We have enormous number of those people working for us in our health system and so it's just important to really speak to if you're going to do global health we should do it in countries that we have a cultural context to understand and that will help improve our cultural context back in the states we are looking for opportunities where we can send our doctors uh, to upgrade their skills to uh, to be able to see how things might be done differently in a more developed country and at the same time I think we can offer to Northwell and to your residents an opportunity of coming to Guyana and uh, practicing tropical medicine. It's that interplay. It's somebody who's who's from the Guyana diaspora, who's now a senior executive at Northwell, coming in and saying, I want to give back to where my parents grew up. I want to give back to where I have an uncle that still lives in the country. Um, I, I want to see the health and well-being of my countrymen elevated. So my family's from Guyana. I spent a lot, a lot of my time here uh, over the course of my life. So I have a vested interest in the welfare of Guyanese citizens. This is a, a beautiful opportunity for me to contribute uh, back to my own culture and country and so it's a win-win. On the other hand, with Guy, it's about I take care of these patients every single day and I have very limited understanding of what their understanding of healthcare is. I haven't had years of experience interacting with Guyanese patients. I know how they're like but it gives me a different look on how they are, where they come from, how they lived prior to them immigrating to New York. So it gives me a different perspective as a clinician. Um, this is where they were born. Now they're in New York, they're New Yorkers, but in their heart, they're still Guyanese. We get these you know, articles that get pushed out you know, four hours after we sign an agreement with, 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 uh, with, with the Minister of Health and, the, and, the, and GPHC. And immediately following that, he's got people who are in the Guyana diaspora texting him from Queens being like, you're on, you're on television. No, we gotta speak 100% candid. It's already out in the Guyanese community. But it wasn't New York that was covering it yet. It was, it was Guyana and, and it's because you've got a new, Guyanese American population that's so clued in and it matters so much to them what happens in their home country. There's a saying that it's a spirit taking world and we could feel that vibes from both sides. Northwell, many of the hospitals that they are servicing in the U.S. is where we have a large Guyanese population and we are happy that we can build this relationship so, and we can feel safe that you know our family in, in the U.S. can say Northwell is having a, a collaboration with a, a Georgetown Hospital. Northwell is good. By extension, they can feel that the service for their family can improve and they can have some sense of satisfaction.